You ready to go? Uh, this is Thomas with Believe in the Run. This is Robbie with Believe in the Run. And today we're talking about Austin, Texas and the Atreyu Daily Trainer. Atreyu, apparently not named after a never ending story, which he's never seen. Still doesn't, I don't believe it, but. Well, yeah, how do you come up with the name? All right, go ahead. Whatever. Um, anyways, the Atreyu Daily Trainer. Atreyu had the base model and was it the base model too? Uh, no, there, well, I, I don't know one? if it ever got a, an upgraded name, but you had the base model, okay. and then you had the artist, the artist, and now you have the daily trainer. Yeah. Um, Which is kind of like a replacement for the base model. Yeah, so this is supposed to be a more, like, I guess a better quality shoe, maybe, like more, a nicer upper, better, like, they got rubber outsole this time before it was just exposed EVA or, or super critical foam. It's an upgrade. Yeah. Of materials, I would say. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we, we, get, we have differing views on this shoe. Yeah, we do. Alert. Do you want to talk about it? I'll go first. Right. Yeah, sure. I mean, I really like the original base model because it was light. It just felt like nothing on your foot. There wasn't any, like, it was just stripped down to, like, the bare minimum. Yeah, I mean, that's why people loved it because you can't really get that shoe anymore, mm -hmm. which is just a simple shoe for 80 bucks, I think it was, so. And it kind of was a sleeper hit with a lot of people. Yeah, I, it, it got a fan base for sure. Now we're upgrading it, we're kind of moving it towards like that daily trainer kind of thing, which right. is why they named it daily trainer. But it leaves in some of the things that you forgave the original for because it wasn't like a really, you were paying eighty dollars, and as a matter of fact, sometimes you're paying less than that with the subscription model and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. So, like this foam tongue, for example. Well, I guess we should say first that this is now a hundred and twenty dollars shoe. Yeah. So that's so we're talking like Regular. Pegasus range. Yeah, like you're talking like, Pe like there's a lot of shoes. That, yeah. In the Saucony Axon, you're talking about uh, the Kinvara. You're talking about the Pegasus. You're talking about the New like Balance. Brooks Launch is yeah. cheaper now. There, yeah. There's a bunch of shoes that now I have to compare this to. Yeah. And while I like the foam in this, some of the things that are missing are some of the details like locking down your uh, foot in the midsole. There's no structure of this midsole. It's just or basic the, midsole to the upper yeah to, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Whoops. i got you i'm gonna have to <laughs> the, the midsole the midsole i do like I, yeah, the yeah. upper though so like for example the i ran in this and it wasn't particularly hot or anything like that and i noticed that when i came back this tongue mm -hmm. which i didn't notice in the original one was like a sponge of sweat this morning yeah i could see that um i took this out for a few runs and i don't know that i had the sweat issue with the tongue but i it it's yeah it's like spongy like this exactly yeah um more comfortable than the i think the original a little bit thicker but the the problem there's some problems with the upper for sure well number one there's no structure to the sides here there's no gusset it's just kind of there like it's a nicer quality of material yeah but it's still just kind of like there there to, your foot goes in it now i will say the heel counter is improved over the previous oh, yeah, model, so you sure. do get a rigid, more rigid heel co counter. I right, and I thought like the original, like, like the initial, like lock and feel, like everything felt good mm -hmm. until I was actually running. That's the thing, like. Oh, well, I'll get into that in a second. All right. But so the midsole, I do like this foam is a nice foam. You got a six millimeter offset. I forget what the stack is. I think it's like twenty eight or something, thirty, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. But the rubber that's on the bottom. Like, I don't know that it, it adds to the shoe. Interesting. Um, and this is base, This is essentially the same as their trail outsole, just the the lugs have been shaved in half. Yeah. It's the same thing. And the, the, the midsole, uh, Michael said that it's the same as the last shoe. It's just now has an outsole on it. Okay. So, there you go. So, yeah, it just, so for me, it's just that point that now I have to kind of compare this to other yeah. shoes and it just doesn't feel as finished. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie, and this is probably gonna be more of a full, full review than first off, so I don't think we're doing a full review. <laughs> the, uh, on the run, I think I wore this for three runs, six to eight mile range, like that. Dude, I had the worst hot spots. My foot was just mm. sliding everywhere, like after six miles, and I was like, I can't, I can't do this for like- But you do long. like this shoe. I do, so that's the thing is that, and I tried retying like multiple times, I just could not get it locked down. 
you have a higher volume foot, maybe it'll work for you. But the ride of this shoe, like, I love. See, I love, like, it, it was is, one of my favorite, like, shoes in recent memory of, like, the feel of the shoe. This is where we differed. <laughs> like, so on my uh, run, it just started feeling flat after a while. Like, at first steps, like, getting out there, the first two miles, I was like, oh, this feels pretty good. And then what happened was it just kind of flattened out. Yeah, I don't know. I felt I felt the opposite. I felt like the whole time I was like, this feels great. Like I just, and maybe I was like, I had a week off because I was kind of injured during mm -hmm. marathon training. Maybe that week off came back, fresh legs, like <laughs> yeah. just felt good that whole week. But I, I just fun. had a great, like I think every run I had in this shoe, like I felt good in. And uh, just come over here. I mean, it is what I do like. I will, I will say some things I do like about the shoe. It's got a lightweight feel. It. I didn't have the hot spots that Robbie had. I just noticed that there wasn't a ton of structure in the upper. Has a lightweight feel on it. So like when you're going through your stride, I felt like, hey, this is a nice natural feeling shoe. But the, I think where I missed was before when you didn't have this rubber on there, I felt like the foam really gave you a nice bounce and spread out and, and recoiled. <laughs> And I that's feel so like, crazy because I definitely feel like the opposite feel. Uh, I felt like, like that's exactly what I felt. Okay. <laughs> so maybe it's, a, and I don't know, it could be just two different, who knows. And I was going to say, I'll get back to it, that as a casual shoe and just wearing this around, yeah. I really, this reminds me of like an upgraded van. Yeah. Like, I like, I, like I would have worn this as like a pair of vans. This would have been like nice cushioning. I like the full rubber bottom if we were skateboarding. Like this would have been good grip on on the grip tape. Yeah. Um, and just casual wear, I like the look and style of it, but for running, it just didn't didn't hit for me the way that I was hoping it would. Yeah. I mean, I think this might be one of my most. This is like my number one like love hate shoe ever. Like love. I love the ride of it. I hated the upper of it. Um, I don't know, but it might work. Like if it works for you, it works for you. Yeah. For me, it was right down the middle. Um, and like I didn't love hate it. It's just down the middle. And then when you're going to compare it to other shoes at this price point, I think he starts getting into a little shaky ground. Yeah, I mean, I think at a hundred bucks, maybe one ten. Like I'm, I'm feeling it. It's and I don't know. It's 120. I don't think is bad. If if I could get to that ride, and I had the, if I had the lockdown that I wanted, I think 120 would be a fair more than fair price right. for sure and so, the other thing that i do like about the shoe is i do like the crew out in austin i like you know the whole group they had trey of, yeah trey you guys including and michael it is cool it's kind of like a yeah. cult, cult like shoe so honestly like we talked about the tracks it's like if this is the vibe you want you want to feel like part of that crew 120 bucks go for it man. I, you know what i would say you know when we talk about that 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 was like a 200 dollars shoe yeah this is 120 and if you're comparing it to kind of like that thing you're not too far off with the feel. No, honestly, like, I feel like this feels better overall than the Trax Tracksmith Upper. If you go put the Tracksmith Upper on this shoe, boom, that we're, we have a winner. I don't know. All right, are we going long? This way? All right. Don't throw it up on the top. Basket, we're back. back, we're back. It's about time. <laughs>